Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Fates Blind Run, a Conquest Blind Run. Yeah, last time we recruited the, yeah, Jacob's Child, the sleepy emo healer, Dwyer, and we kind of messed up a few times, but that was a fairly easy chapter overall. This time, apparently, we're going to a chapter that is literally just black and white. I have no idea what to expect from that one, but... First, we're going to do some stuff here, yeah. So, now, Chapter 18 on the Hoshido route was pretty pathetically easy. I get the feeling that the Chapter 18 on Noor is Listen. not going to be easy. Oh, hi, Leo. Interesting that we're seeing you now, considering, well, other route spoilers. And more milk. And that's actually all we can talk to. I guess I'll save your tail. Yeah, I'm gonna use you in the next battle, definitely. Oh, hello. Hi there, Benny. Uh, you are not having some good luck with Charlotte lately. Uh, I am not looking forward to that, because I think I've passed we'll the later. threshold for, uh... Unless... Oh, uh, but then I'd break the paralog order. I need to check if there's a if there's an invasion available, because if there is, I might actually be able to air support. Yeah. Anyway, let's give you some let's give you some defense. Hey, it's actually cooked into bread already. And well you just gained pretty much everything. Okay, so, see you, Lilith. And let's see if we can convince you again, though we probably can't. Oh, that look. So, Niles! <laughs> let's see if the touch of a sadist is what we need. Oh, that look. Two's company! Such a tease. Almost convinced. Okay. To guess sadism worked. Oh, hi, Shiro. <sighs> <laughs> and I guess I can check the mess hall. Finally. Yeah, finally you are on cooking duty. How good of a cook are you? Let's try speed and strength. On my honor as a knight. Finally, <laughs> I'll make this quick. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> that was too close it was kind of funny. Sounds like he almost um... chopped his finger off. Standard creamed beef. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Wow, okay then. <laughs> He's as hard on people as his father is. Oh yeah, I had a feeling Standard wouldn't give any additional modifiers. Oh yeah, by the way, Dwyer's here. And yeah, speaking of which... I do have some... Oh no. Ah, you again. That is the trouble with not training certain people. You might get someone on Arena Duty who's not very good. Onyx, maybe? Mercenary. Uh, are you gonna fail badly? You might fail badly. Well, it this is up and this is a this is a toss up, it could go either way. Whoever hits twice first wins, and failure. Yeah, thought as much. And I guess it's face looking time. Okay, just a normal bond sequence. Okay, just normal, I guess. Getting up there, though. Are you gonna say the bonfire line again? 
Your entire being is a pyre upon which I burn. Well, at least, yeah, that's, um, that's at least different. You've said that before, but you haven't said it as much as the bonfire line. Nah! We haven't actually seen Effie yet. Or Camilla. Or Shura. Or Selena. Well, we have seen Selena. Or Xander. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we have to do this at least once. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> okay. Let's just hope you don't act seductive. Thanks again for having me over, darling. Call me anytime. Sorry, I just had to at least scroll the camera down a little bit. I still think that it's weird that they made the most fan servicey character in the game the main character's sister. Yeah. Now we do have several supports, none of which are Charlotte and Benny, but let me just check something. Uh. Okay, we can build something new. Kazia statue and Perry statue. Okay, let's go for the Kazia statue, I guess, first. I've noticed these are bronze statues. When you upgrade them to level 2, they become silver. That's a good touch. That Perry statue looks totally different to any other one we've made. Okay, what I wanted to check is if the invasion is available. Yes, it is! Level 5 merchant. Uh, let me just check this. Do I have to do this with my castle team or can I change the team? Oh, we can select units just fine. Okay, that's good. Anyway, yeah. So, invasions of where... Uh-oh, they're all promoted. Great knights with armored blow. Creepy puppeteers with... Holy! That's a lot of enemy. Oh, they're mostly village villagers. They're kind of tough villagers, though, and maids. What's that? Seal speed. Wow, those merchants look downright evil. And they have... Wait a minute, I know why they have gold bars in their inventory also. Why do you have gentle arm? <laughs> Certain blow. Yeah, Invader merchants look kind of creepy. <laughs> I am the evil merchant of darkness. I sell death and pain. Oh, but a free master seal. That, I'm going to want that. So the reason why you have so many gold bars is you've got this. Spend thrift. You can expend a held gold bar for an enormous buff in battle. And the boss has three of them. I don't exactly foresee this going very well. Uh, we at least have our friendly Stoneborn on our side, who is totally useless. He's going to die before he even gets a hit in, I'm pretty sure. Why are your stats so bad? Anyway. But hopefully this will at least maybe give us... Malignite's interesting. This will maybe give us a possible Benny and Charlotte support, maybe? Anyway, I'll do this off-screen. Oh, something that I should at least show. Kamui being able to use toes means she can actually man the fire orb, which is pretty cool. That took way too long. Seriously, that invasion was a jerk. You're lucky that I did that off camera, because if I was actually recording that, I'd probably have to bleep out 90% of my commentary. Yeah, I was swearing a lot. Uh, yeah, and I... Yeah, nothing in this game has made me angry enough to do that so far, but that one did. Because mainly, the fact that they actually had paired up with that spendthrift merchant with three gold bars, who can actually one-round Benny with spendthrift, not just him, he was paired up with a maid with an entrap staff. Which means that even if that you just put you have someone guarding the throne, all they'll do is they just entrap, pull you off the throne, and seize. You lose instantly. So yeah, that was basically yeah. And then some lunge wife and reinforcement spawn. So that was pretty horrifying. However, 
it was good for supports because we actually got Charlotte and Benny to an S from that. And for that, I'm very thankful. Oh, yeah, Benny leveled up quite a bit. Charlotte hit level 20. Um, I think... Yeah, Keaton hit level 20 from that because I wanted to get him and Severa. She's not Severa, she's Selena. What am I talking about? Selena up a bit. And, uh, who else did I... I didn't really use much else apart from uh, Effie and Xander, who already had a support up, but I think Effie may have leveled up a bit. Kamui leveled up once, I think. And Kaze leveled up also once, but uh, he sadly did not get a support with Azura. She did get a support with Kamui, though, so maybe I should do that one. I also don't know where that support with Odin went. Oh, I have a feeling of what's going to happen now. So, I think I saw a thumbnail with this in it, so I knew this would happen eventually. <laughs> yeah, you attacked the wrong Kamui, Assassin. If you'd attacked male Kamui, you would have had much more success, but female Kamui is ridiculously overpowered. Yeah. Guess we just didn't... We missed one in that invasion. Well, that's certainly a traumatic thing to have happen to you. Yeah. Well, that's better than you being dead. Yeah, interesting. This is basically telling telling her to quit whining. Interesting. Yeah. At least she's she's being very supportive there. I like that. So yeah, more proof that the soldiers we're fighting have families back home, and yeah, we're causing a lot of tragedy by fighting this war. This game really hammers that in more than any other Fire Emblem, really. And I don't know how I got this exactly, but I may as well see it. <laughs> yes! Yes! Fire Emblem game naming comes back! Yes! So I've heard that Azura can be very deadpan in a lot of her supports. This might be one of them. I've read bits of her supports with Keaton, which are quite funny. He tries to freak her out by putting a frog in her hands, and her response is just, I'm holding a frog. Ah, <laughs> uh, Azura? Why are you doing that? Well, Odin has that reaction on everyone, because he's awesome. Uh, considering that Odin's married, better not be. Oh, that's funny, because if you air support them, it actually is. You know that secret love thing all the way back? Yeah, 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 I was lying. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see that in air support. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Odin tends to cheer up everyone. This does make sense after seeing that Kamui support there. Both her and Azura dwell in the past. Oh, he certainly does! Uh, Odin? Yeah, that's an understatement. Yeah... Let's just say that there's a place that has been destroyed by an unthinkable evil. One day, one day, Odin will return there, and he'll make things right. But until then, he has to deal with his business in this world. And, okay, parent-child support with Dwyer, I'll leave those for later. Uh, okay, let's just do the B supports next. Oh, this one! I've heard this is hilarious. Spart is not exactly the right word. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then, yeah, sa yeah, I've been spoiled on that line, sadly. <laughs> Apparently, the Japanese version was even more ridiculous as to what happened to Arthur here. He still got struck by lightning, though. <laughs> yeah, he is. Apparently, in Arthur's supports with Baruka, she basically theorizes that he has to have an assassin constantly after him because there's no way all of this could be just a coincidence. Oh, I'd said that about you before, but you're getting a lot stronger now. I'd like it if you had a unique palette as a great knight, but uh, what can you do? Okay, that was quite a short support. Anyway, oh, I forgot she was at a B with Silas already, and a B with Mozu. Yeah, she's got quite a lot of supports all spread out, because I took a while for her husband not to join. And it's time for the Sundare Wolf to get his game on again. Yeah, I had a feeling that he'd win that contest. Yeah, yeah. Challenging a werewolf to a hunting contest is probably not the best idea. Uh, there isn't. He's a werewolf, Selena. Uh, 20 times as much as a wolf, really? <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. One of them has to share an embarrassing secret. <laughs> yeah, she's great at saying embarrassing things. Oh no. What's she gonna say? What?! <laughs> and of course, the classic Sundere line right here. Yeah, I, I like this. This is great. <laughs> and she wins award for worst comedy act. Though her Sundere outburst probably brought it, brought the comedy back. <laughs> that was great. Anyway. Uh, I'll leave that for later, and now it's parent-child supports time. I've seen how Mozu is the parent of the other group, but how is she as a parent to... Lazy Butler Man? Huh. Uh, careful when you say that. Yeah... <laughs> well, that's that's kind of nice. And now this one. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so at least it's more like a just a friendly rivalry over making coffee. Yeah, I just the, the, the very just hypocrisy of the idea of Jacob, someone who's basically admitted that his parents never loved him, ending up being kind of an abusive father to his son just made me kind of uncomfortable, but I guess it's not that bad. Also, I'm thinking that given aptitude, maybe I should actually use that master seal that I got out of the uh, invasion on Dwyer. Maybe. Just I just want that aptitude. Just thinking of that super, super massive growth spotler. Anyway, this is this is gonna be good.
Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, like I've said many times earlier, Benny already accepts her. <laughs> wow, he catches on quickly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that is pretty nice. Admittedly, there are some people who do have wealth that do end up accepting her for who she is, like I think Xander, but I still like that support. A again, like, really? I like that support because, I don't know, everyone has their own ideas of romance, but to me, someone who's really easy to talk to is definitely my kind of person, so I can really see how that... I just... Yeah, I, I just like the way those two work together. It just feels like... It just feels really authentic to me, honestly. Oh. How do you stuff his toe on some berries? They must be very, very hard berries. Then again, there are some quite hard berries in Pokemon games. The chosen heroine arrives. Yes! Oh, okay then! You want me to use you soon, don't you? Oh, hi, Azura. Hmm. Oh, accessories? Uh... Oh, more shifts at the prison. Huh. Maybe maid's band? Truly. Okay. Be hilarious if they actually got a got another support up. So the question is, I have only a few master seals left. Um should I I have three left exactly. I think I need to recruit Benny's child soon, and promoting Charlotte would probably help his I'm almost positive that's a he. Would help, in fact I know it's a he because I know his name. Would definitely help his stats out a bit. But I don't know, Charlotte's been a little RNG screwed. I don't know exactly if I'm going to really be using her throughout the playthrough. She's definitely not going to be in my endgame team, I'll say that. But then there's Keaton and Selena. Definitely want to promote Keaton, probably Selena as well. Then there's Laszlo and Perry, I need to promote them. Then there's, uh... Carnotophilia, who I also need to promote. <sighs> See, at least there's more pre-promotes on Gnaw, so does mean that... I think I bought the staff store out of Master Seals, oh, actually. It's you. Yes, I have. Come again. So, yeah. Gnaw has more pre-promotes, so you need less Master Seals, and that's good, but I still am running low on them. I definitely want to promote Keaton, though. So here's the thing. I would quite like to promote Dwyer because, you know, aptitude and all that. And plus, he's got some fairly decent stats as a butler. I mean, he'll definitely outclass Jacob there, definitely, very quickly. But I want to promote a, uh, promote a Keaton would be great, but Selena as well. I want to be using Keaton and Selena a bit more. And Arthur and Perry, ah, uh, Laszlo and Perry, uh, it's just so hard to think of. Uh, I will say that, oh, and I need to promote Percy too, ah, uh, too many promotions. Then again, every child that I get after this one is going to start out with an offspring seal, so I won't need to worry about master sealing them. Ah, uh, three left. I do feel like I need to use one on Charlotte. And I mean, again, I just don't see her as a hero. Berserker really is the main thing. Berserker or nothing, basically. So, let's go! First female Berserker in the series. Well, technically speaking, if I use a hard seal on female Kamui, she could be one, but yeah. First official female Berserker in the series. You got it! And yeah, her luck goes and resistance go down, oddly enough. 
Wow, that is really bad resistance, so don't send Charlotte at Mages, that's a bad idea. Let's actually get a, get a look at her. Okay, yeah, so she has a different... Oh, she has some armor at, le at least, and she's got a different, like, a sort of skirty thing made of... Uh, looks almost like sheep wool. I think the males get a, um, like, a bear skin or something like that. Anyway. Now, who else? I do want to get Selena and Keaton supported up, because... Yeah, don't have... Okay, so who's... Uh, who have, haven't I uh, got the Parallax for yet? That would be Laszlo, Keaton, Xander, Leo, and Kaze. That's quite a few. I'm probably not going to promote Baruka. I just don't know. She hasn't been that good for me, so... I might, ju I might just have a pair up with Leo and just have Leo fight. So... I actually think, yeah, promoting Keaton might not be a bad idea. He only has one option, and it is Wolf's... Wolfsegner. I, I, know, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. I did look that up, and I know where its roots are. It's kind of interesting. I'll talk about that once he promotes. Though in this case, it's more like he'll just promote to, uh... He'll now have a... more crimson-looking outfit. Yeah! He basically just turned into a power swap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, he probably will be. And that's some pretty good defense, and not bad speed either. Wow, that's strength. Seriously, that strength is insane. He does feel kind of like a transforming general or berserker. Yeah. Though none of the beast stones actually boost his raw strength, so I'm glad that's actually quite high. So yeah, wolf sectors were apparently people who sold medicine uh, that would ward off wolves, but uh, during the Middle Ages they got persecuted for being werewolves for some reason, and yeah, that's how it came to be used as the class name in this game. Now I have only one Master Seal left, who should I use it on? I do want to get Laszlo and Perry promoted eventually. Lots of people that I want to get promoted, but um, I would actually quite like to have a promoted Dwyer, because again, you know, um, aptitude. Gotta make use of aptitude. I know his personal skill is useless outside of my castle, but I just like the idea of an aptitude butler. So, and we are, you know, we, we have a severe lack of healers on this route, actually, so might not be a bad idea to bring him. So, you know what, I'm actually going to use it now. Also, apparently his description says that he is, um, has the most hidden potential in the army, so that's, and he's also in the exact same cooking category as Mozu, so it's... I guess he has a kind of unique outfit. So I guess it makes total sense, and he loses movement because he's now not mounted anymore. So yeah, I guess it makes sense for him to be the child of Mozu, actually it makes a lot of sense. Also, yeah, really lazy guy with massive hidden potential, and with aptitude, he'll become an ultimate destroyer of everything. Now I seriously wish that, um, that, uh, one of Dwyer's critical quotes was, You're gonna have a bad time. Because, <laughs> yes, I foresee him being that strong with aptitude eventually. Oh, there's the votive candle. Okay, so it has the miracle skill in it, basically. Oh, that's, that's not bad, and it doesn't block out double attacking or anything like that. Interesting. Of course, we can't really use the, um, fell tableware and stuff like that. So he's stuck just using a bronze dagger. Oh well. So, uh, we can build a Betty statue. Okay, that'll definitely help. And now... It's time to move out to the next battle, and now, here's the thing! Izumor? Izumor? That's interesting. Didn't expect Izumor to be the next chapter. Anyway, though, Paralog 17, two defenders. Benny's son, son, Ignatius, is defending a village under attack by monsters. When Benny hears this, he rushes to his side and discovers his son is fighting bravely in combat, and thus is going to be very, very hard to get to in time. 
Thing is, I just did chapter 18 of Hoshidor, so I'm supposed to do this one. However, I think now is the last time that I have to do this chapter before it gets really insane. I think I should take care of this chapter right now. Because, yeah, if I take care of it later than chapter 18... I mean, Ignatius will get a, get a offspring seal that way, but the enemies will be promoted, and he starts out as an NPC, so he won't even be able to use that immediately, so it won't actually help him. So, I think I should do this one now, so I'll see you back for this one.